So I want to talk to you about protein or more specifically protein powder and how it can and usually is useful to most people in almost any circumstance. And the reason is most dietary habits don't include a lot of protein. Um, generally, it's a very small portion of some kind of animal protein and then a very large portion of carbohydrates and maybe some vegetables. So if your goal is to build the optimal amount of muscle tissue that your genetics will allow, you really need to get in adequate protein intake. And a lot of times through your food intake, is not going to be enough. So a protein powder, a whey isolate, is extremely useful for almost anybody. Uh, throwing one, two, maybe three shakes in a day mixed with water really doesn't taste like anything, goes down easy, and you're just, you can be sure that you're getting adequate protein. And even if you have protein in excess, there's really no harm in that because protein, uh, it's very difficult to turn protein into stored fat. You know, it has to go through a process called gluconeogenesis, which converts the protein into glucose and the glucose into triglycerides and stored in the fat tissue. So a little more protein than needed, never a bad thing. Um, I don't believe in very many supplements at all besides other than creatine and, and protein powder. Um, as you probably know, um, you know, here's a Muscle and Fitness magazine. Uh, there's one of my ads in there from when I was sponsored by Muscle Tech. Um, I was sponsored by, you know, the biggest supplement company in the world um, at the time, at least. And um, the only, you know, with a $500 a month uh, free supplement order, all I took was uh, creatine and protein powder. Uh, even though they have dozens of other muscle building supplements, most of the muscle building supplements don't work. They're a complete waste of money. But two supplements should be taking, obviously, you know, some creatine and a protein powder. What I'm, what I'm using now is just, a, just basic whey isolate uh, from Allmax. Uh, there's no particular reason I chose this brand other than uh, the guy at the store said it was, you know, one of the most popular. So um, anything between 40 to $50 for two pounds really doesn't matter what brand. Most of them kind of taste the same. Most of them are the same. This one's got, you know, 27 grams of protein per scoop, which is on the high end, which is pretty good. But, you know, a few scoops of, uh, you know, some kind of protein powder a couple times a day is going to allow you to be sure that you're getting adequate protein. It's really not going to take anything out of your day. It's, it's not very filling. Um, but I would recommend most people, especially if you're resistance training, include a, a protein powder or whey isolate supplement in your diet to make sure you're getting adequate protein. Because without adequate protein, your body can't build optimal amounts of muscle. Because you got to consider <clears throat> the way muscle grows is the addition of contractile proteins in the muscle cell. So how does it build these contractile proteins? They don't just come out of thin air. So what it does is it uses the amino acids provided in dietary protein to assemble new contractile proteins. So if you do, in which when you build or, or create new contractile proteins from the amino acids that come in dietary protein, the muscle has to grow and expand in order to accommodate the additional uh, contractile proteins. That's why a muscle grows. Myofibrillar hypertrophy. You're adding myofibrils. So um, if, you, if you don't have adequate protein in your diet, that it's, it's, you're not providing the amino acids that the body needs to build the new contractile proteins. Therefore, it literally cannot build them. It's like showing up to a building site um, with the blueprints for a house but not bringing any wood. The house can't build itself out of nothing, so you need to make sure you're getting adequate protein daily to optimize muscle growth. Um, and throwing in a couple of shakes every day with including protein in every single meal is a surefire way to make sure you are getting everything you need. But that does not mean more protein equals more muscle growth. Your muscle cells are going to use the amount of amino acids they need to build whatever amount of new myofibrils they determine is necessary after your stimulus. 
just because you're building more or bringing more building material to the job site doesn't mean your body's going to use that extra building material. Again, with the house building analogy, it's like having a blueprint for with a certain amount of building material, but bringing twice as much expecting the house to build bigger. No, it's only going to use what it needs. So that's why shoving down extra protein shakes is not going to result in any additional muscle growth, but you know, having them included, maybe a little extra just to be safe is the approach, you know, I've used and um, I'm going to continue to use. So that's my thoughts on, on protein powder. It's great. You should be using it. If you're not, go to a supplement store, pick up, you know, a, a two pound jug of it, take one to two shakes a day. Um, and I can guarantee you're going to optimize your muscle growth potential.